First of all, he's stepping into the highest division. He's going straight for 130 to 140. Why y'all the only one doing it? Because I always push Tank to do great stuff. So that's how the great become great. You gotta push yourself. And it's never enough fame, you know? So you gotta keep pushing yourself to become great. I figure if they're trying to win, if they're trying to win, they're trying to be great than, than, than the average fighter, they would push themselves. It should be automatic. But a lot of talk when, when Tank was dropping down to 130 that he was going to be too small to move up to 140. Yeah, you see he's doing it though. Yeah, he's doing it. you just got to do is see how he performed that night from 26. That's what it's based on. He started off slow against Leo Santa Cruz, right? Right. You know, um, I kind of asked Leonard about it. But why was that the case, him starting off slow against Bill Santa Cruz? Uh, it's not a marathon. I mean, this is it's not a, a track race. It's a marathon. Yeah. You got 12 rounds. Yeah. You know, I don't never talk about Tank Knox with my else in all my interviews. I train for 12 rounds. Hard to train for knockout. He always said, we don't get paid overtime. Get him out of there when it's time. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you get to that elite level and you get to some undefeated guys, some big fights, everybody don't get it. You got to, you got to, like, in the words of Roger Mayweather, people don't know shit about boxing. Yeah. And you got to go look and see when that's, that, that time is going to You got to put in the boxing skill. You got to be sharp what you're doing with that. How to pace yourself, how to do a lot of things in the ring. And all these things that we're doing is building for the major fight. I heard that, you know, after this fight, y'all not going to be campaigning 140. I thought y'all was going to be campaigning up there for it's some trinkets. Off. Money right, situation right. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, we leave that to the head to be. That's in charge of all that. Once we see the contract, we deal with it. I saw you in Coach Mustafa's gym. That's my problem. Um, you know, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate Tank stopping through that stomping ground because it's a growing gym out here, but they're doing big things. Especially Coach Mustafa. He's great, spin, great he's, coach. Yeah, great he's coach. spinning the reels back in boxing, giving yeah. you education. Uh, he, 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 it's not only a coach, he's a teacher too. Right. Um, I've been knowing him for years and I watch what he's doing. He's doing it. I'm trying to get people that in Atlanta go to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just the things to get that fighter that stay with their coach, that taught him, that gave him the DNA. As you always see that you got kids that's been built by a coach, but they're not with their coach. But if you go back and look at the great ones, they've been with the same coach the whole time. So let me ask you this, as far as PPV, Tank got to have a dance partner and just bringing the money, you know, and, and you know, they, they got to bring some type of Wall Street to the fight. Who do you see at 135 that gives you that? The only person that I seen that I, that I seen that made the fight was Ryan. Ryan was the only one that made the fight. I called Teofimo the Godzilla fight. Okay. Teofimo is a Godzilla fight. People don't know. That's, I'm bringing that word. When you say Godzilla, the world want to see it. Okay. So, okay, that's the one that you see that would be the biggest fight. Him and Tia Fimo. In my opinion, they the only two as far as numbers. You know what I'm saying? That would bring people out. Yes, I want to see that fight, especially when Ron and Tank was going back and forth. Josh Taylor. Yeah, but Josh Taylor just got it. Yeah, Josh Taylor just got it. So it's just based on what he wanted to do. Yeah, I mentioned Josh Taylor earlier because he have all the belts, right? And I said, you know what? He campaigned at 140. That'd be a good right. fight. But that person told me he don't sell tickets. I understand that, but you'll have a whole country on the other side of the water watching that fight. I agree. <laughs> so you got no business. Right? I agree. I agree. I mean, when when they told me that, I said, okay, I, I agree, but I, but I disagree. Yeah. You, know you know what I'm saying? So that's, a, that's the way I look at it, because um, if you can get another country to watch it, and this country to watch it, you know what I'm saying? That's a big fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, so if, if, if you look at it, Tank is not selling here. He's selling over. Over the water. Yeah. So when you really look at it, it just makes sense, but I don't see the numbers, I don't crunch the numbers, but they crunch the numbers. So if Correct. the numbers look right, the numbers don't lie. Like my old head said, babies and moms and dads lie, but numbers don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, it's definitely good to see y'all back down here though. You know, I hope y'all keep it going because you know, we, we all show on Tank a lot of love. We appreciate oh, oh, him bringing boxing home. back to the ATL because yeah, we need it. This is second home. Ain't no question about it. This is second home. Um, he talking about doing some things down here with the younger fighters. Um, as you know, I got younger fighters that signed under Tank that we've been bringing through Atlanta, helping out the younger, the younger promoters that's in the land. Okay, so we can we can see like it was down here last time, you know, all yeah, the fighters at your head. stable. Okay. Yeah, you know, um, I think... Um, Monzo fought down here, right? Kareem, Kareem did. Yeah, Kareem did. So we, we will be bringing a lot of GTD fighters, his young fighters, through this way. 
What Malik Hawkins been up to? Uh, you know? Right now, he just he just had a newborn. Okay. I haven't talked to him because you know when the young fighter get a loss, you know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Let him get his mental back. Okay. So, time we get finished with this, I get back in the gym, talk to him. But he had been in the gym working with the youngest, so that's a good sign. For sure, that's good. Shout out to the Ice Man. You know who's some killers that you got coming up out of your stable, well, there, Coach? Stacy Selby is on this card with Tank. He got power in both hands. Kid to be watched. He's only 19 years old, still growing. Okay. Um, we have uh, the Mon Nicholson here with us. He fought the kid from out of New York, stopped his winning streak. So that was a good look for us in a sense. The man got his name out there. We have um, Kareem Martin. We have uh, Monzo. What's Monzo's last name, Kim? I can't hardly say it. Conde. 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 Um, Lee Hawkins, um, Seth Mitchell. Y'all ain't know that. <laughs> it's okay. And so we got a lot when did that happen? Yeah, I, I, it's been there, but I've been in camp with him. Okay, so I got you. Wait for me to get back. For you'll see him soon. Okay. That's what's up. Any final words you got, you have to say? I'm gonna talk to you again. You got a presser coming up this week. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, and everything. It's, it's a big one because you know, it's not a big because of the athlete. It's a big because we gotta go against um, um, Virgil. Virgil, good friend of mine. Very technical mind person. Yeah, I seen you gave him a lot of respect. Obviously, oh, you know. Just to kick, break bread in the amateurs. Yeah. Know? And he put his. I call it passing the, the baton to us. You know, that's how I look at it, you know, so once we do our thing against this guy, he's been doing good with this, with this kid, and the kid representing him, you know, so we'll yeah. see how it unfold. Absolutely. You know, any final words you want to say to the to the fans that support Javante well, and all your fighters? In the words of Javante Davis, you support him, he fight for you. Absolutely. Once again, Calvin Ford in the building down here in Atlanta. You know, out of B-more, you know what it is. Salute from World Combat Sports. <laughs> Thank you, man.